Wrestling is a combat sport where the main focus is grappling, clinch fighting, takedowns, and throws. There are three main types of wrestling, Greco-Roman, freestyle, and folk style. High school wrestling mainly follows the same rules as folk style, where you cannot lock hands on top. If either you or your opponent are taken out of bounds, you must restart, and whoever got the takedown is on top. It takes a lot of discipline to be a wrestler, and it can be quite different compared to other sports. Just how different can wrestlers be compared to other athletes? Uh, being that certain wrestlers or wrestling has to make weight uh, before their match, so in their weight class, so you have to make weight, you can't be overweight, you can't be underweight. So what I'm saying is, it's one of the things that you gotta be disciplined on your diet within 24 hours, the next 48 hours. You gotta be real careful on what your body intakes. That's why I think wrestlers have the upper scale of a lot of us athletes because of the weight they have to manage and what the portion they have to eat while they are in, in season. So I think wrestlers are very special when it comes to being serious about their, their athletics and their body training. In most weight classes, it can be very easy to let yourself go and miss weight. That's why wrestlers are some of the most disciplined athletes there are. Um, wrestling makes uh, different from other sports by you have to be disciplined and making weight. You have you can you can let all your anger on the mat. Different than other sports where you get in trouble for making that. I mean. If you don't do good in class, you can't wrestle, so obviously you're going to want to do good in your classes, so it increases my motivation to do better in all my classes, see at A's and B's. In wrestling, you're the only person out there fighting for your team. You have no one to fall back on, and whatever mistakes you make on the mat, you must learn how to recover from those mistakes quickly. 